the sound working. <coughs> uh, hello, this is uh, Andrew, or Andre the producer. Uh, I'd like to welcome you back to my third and final video for Emerging Technologies. Uh, I will be working with the Unreal Development Kit once again. And uh, instead of doing some sort of scripting, I will be uh, working with the AI. Um, one particular thing about the AI is something that I'm going to show you today called the uh, AI Crowd System. And what this system does is uh, basically sets up a crowd of enemies to go from one destination to another. And essentially, uh, I'll have it so that they kill themselves at the end. And they will just continuously spawn until I end the level. Oh, great, ambiguous packaging. So what the crowd system basically lets you do is just have a massive amount of AI in one time, so you're not just constantly uh, spawning one person at a time. You can spawn hundreds, thousands, as many as you want. So right now, I'm in a blank, sort of, just the regular level that you start out with in UDK. I actually have uh, a custom model from my one of my artists, which is pretty nice. Uh, so to start with the crowd system, we need to go into View, Browser Windows, and Actor Classes. So once in the Actor Classes, um, there's their own button, Crowd. And uh, you're going to get Game Crowd Destination. Just click on it, and then you can right-click into the scene. And right here, it'll say Add Game Crowd Destination here. So I'm going to only start with two Game Crowd Destinations. Because you can just add more if you want. It doesn't matter. So it'll go from one to the other to the third. You can even g have it run through a maze. And do whatever you want with it. Close that. And I'm going to go back to the first one. So it's set up as game crowd destination underscore zero. Uh, so what I'm going to change in this in the game crowd destination properties is uh, the next destination. Right now it's not set in anything, but uh, what I can do is add new item. And under none, I can type in game crowd destination underscore one. And it'll link it. If you can see the yellow line, it'll link it to the first game crowd destination. <coughs> so when that's done, let's go ahead and click on game destination one. So uh, when I want this to reach, when I want the crowd to reach game crowd destination one, I'm going to have it kill them because I'm a terrible person. That's all there is to it. I'm just, I'm just a horrible person. Uh, you can also have it must reach exactly before they die, have it flee. There's, there's a lot of things that you can do. You can set up restrictions, set up some spawning, but I'm just going to have it kill them. So what's next is we need to set up what's going to run in between these two, uh, from destination one to destination two. To do that, we're going to go back into uh, view browser windows, actor classes, and we're going to uncheck this use actor as parent so we can find what we need. Type in crowd in the search bar because uh, it's going to be in an uncategorized. You don't have to search it. It's just right here. Game crowd behavior list of agents, but crowd's just so much easier. If I can spell it. All right. So you double click on the game crowd list of agents, and you gotta have its own package. So I'll do emerging tech, and the name would be emerging tech list of agents. So I'm gonna copy that emerging tech package name and hit OK. So nothing was added into the scene, but you know, not yet. Soon soon. So next we need something to populate that list, which would be a UT game credit agent, which is just the regular bot. You can have it uh, just like the regular normal default bot, the default AI in UDK. You could put your own models. I could put my artist's models in there, uh, my artist Philip Morell. But, you know, 
you could have Gears of War models in there. It really it doesn't matter. You could have three of different models. You could have a Gears of War your own custom model. You could have their regular drone. So I'm gonna put in the package for Emerging Tech again, and I'll do Emerging Tech Crowd Agent. This also doesn't add anything. What you used to do with the crowd agent is um you would have one crowd agent and drag it in and then link that into the Kismet. But um with the new development kit you don't have to do that anymore. It goes through this list so it's easier for designers. Next, go to browser windows, we're gonna go into that content browser. Uh yeah. And uh Right here, I can look for my package, Emerging Tech. And here we got Crowd Agents. Awesome. Got my list of agents. I'm going to just go ahead and save that real quick. So I'm going to click my list of agents and click Properties. And this one, Game Crowd List of Agents. My list of agents, I don't have anything. So I'm going to add a new item. And see uh, agent arch type and that's what we added with the crowd agent into our package so I'm just gonna click on art uh, crowd agent and hit use selected object so it's set into there all nice and beautiful save that so now I'm gonna go to view Unreal Kismet I'm going to add a couple things here so we can start setting up our sweet, sweet crowd control. So uh, right click, new event, level loaded. Right click, new action, crowd, UT crowd spawner. And uh, what you're going to want to do is click your first little node, game crowd destination. Then right click the Kismet and hit new object bar using that game crowd destination. And everything wants to not work right now. Okay. Beautiful. Move that down a bit. Why is it? Relax. It's okay. Thank you. Stop. Alright. So we're going to connect spawn point to game crowd destination 1 because that's the spawn point of uh, our models. And loaded invisible, connect to start. That's it. That's that's the only kismet. It's awesome. So our final piece is to add to the UT crowd spawner this uh, list of agents that we created. So uh, under here for crowd agent list, I'm just going to go ahead and since I clicked it here, I can just go ahead and click this and it'll add it immediately. Yeah, here I can also do the max agents, the spawn rate of everybody, the max spawn distance from the uh, the trigger itself, everything. <coughs> so right now we're just we're done with it. So we can just go ahead and play it. But the problem is if we don't rebuild the map, nothing's gonna happen. So you're gonna want to build, build all. Unfortunately, I think you could just build AI paths and it would be okay. Hoped everyone had a good quarter. Wasn't bad for me. I hate building light mass.